Have you ever wondered how an engine is made? Let's find out in this video. It all starts at the metal foundry. Traditionally, car engine blocks were made of iron, however, today most of them are made of lightweight aluminum alloy for fuel efficiency. One of the first processes is to melt the aluminum ingots. Workers load aluminum ingots into a device called the elevator bucket, which is positioned above a jet melter, which is essentially a gas-fired furnace. The bucket drops the ingots into the 800 degrees Celsius fire, liquefying the aluminum which is then collected in a giant container. Meanwhile, in the other part of the factory, a special sand is prepared which is used to make the sand molds. Over here, the zircon sand is mixed with glue and a hardener. This combination of materials can withstand the intense heat of molten metal, but only for one casting procedure. A machine then blows the sand and glue mixture into a master mold, which is made of iron. Moreover, it also injects a gas that activates the hardener, which solidifies the mixture. The worker then gives a quick visual check before sending over to the sophisticated robots, which makes sure that the finished mold is per the design specification and tolerances. The sand mold is now carefully placed and locked. The sand mold is filled from the bottom to avoid contaminating the metal with aluminum oxide. Oxide is generally formed when molten aluminum comes into contact with air. Once the molten aluminum settles down and takes the shape of the sand mold, it is then released from its locked position and taken for further processing. The worker then carries the one-piece engine block to a workbench.
First, the excess sand is removed from the block, followed by a thorough visual examination. Now the engine block is ready to be used and is shipped to another factory for the final assembly of the engine. Once the engine block is manufactured, a working engine is only halfway complete. An engine consists of an assortment of mechanical and electronic components, all of which must be assembled in a working hole. One of the first steps is a 3D scan of the engine block which is then checked against design specification and tolerances. The scan can also reveal any manufacturing defect before it goes further into the assembly process. Here the cylinder bores the hole in which the pistons move up and down and are finished off by machining. The tool carves a crisscross pattern on the cylinder walls. Lubricating oil will cling to the grooves in this pattern which enables the pistons to move smoothly. The engine block then arrives at an inspection table where a QC personnel carefully performs a visual inspection using an advanced camera. Meanwhile, in the other part of the factory, pistons are made ready to be integrated to the engine block. Pistons are made of aluminum. They're installed in the cylinder bores of the engine block. A steel connecting rod attaches each piston to the crankshaft. Next, the crankshaft is installed and given a run. The engine travels through various assembly lines and important components are added as it goes along. Once completed, it's now ready for testing. The necessary fuel hose pipes are attached and the engine is being made ready for its trial run. The room is locked and no unauthorized access is allowed during the testing phase.
It's then fired up and put through its paces to make sure it produces the advertised power while other crucial data is also recorded simultaneously. The final step is to tighten all the bolts as per the specified tolerance and keep a record. The engine is now ready to be shipped. Let us know which manufacturing process you like the most in the comments below.